And I wanted to talk about this video and I thought this was just strange. It should really make people who are Pan-Africanists always make it look like you can serve both. You can save God and do the whole thing with ancestors. This video uh, really does change that. No Satan. Mm. No Satan, no. Uze. Nengindezelo. Yomtom nyama. There is no colonizer who can colonize you, then give you a book for free that should liberate you. So this is a book of slavery. Mental slavery. Tina, which is connecting with the past. Namshanji. They uh, they are disconnecting themselves from the Bible. Anything that symbolizes the slavery of a black person, they say they are disconnected but these people might not know that the bible that you're bending is not the bible that was used for slavery you can go online and research the slavery bible on youtube and you will see how was it manipulated to reflect on subjects about freedom and the import the, the the value of each and every single one of us and all of us being the same they kind of remove those verses so for those people that are not aware uh, you can hate the Bible, but hate it for legit reasons. Don't hate it uh, because when you want to create a narrative out there. And so, first of all, that's number one. Number two, they say that uh, how can someone give you a Bible, a, a, a give you freedom? How can someone enslave you and then give you something to liberate you? And so, it means, meaning they've never read the book. <laughs> okay, the whole book is about freedom okay when you go from the israelites all the way um or the israelites and moses it's a story about liberation uh this the subject matter of adam and eve it's us being created in this perfection uh, that god had seen us in or that god had created for us and we exit the perfection okay and we bind ourselves by sin and god comes and rescues us and brings us back to himself he brings us back to himself and so the bible is all about that subject i could point out many different the subject of jonah and the the city of nineveh uh, jonah is sent to go and liberate these people by the message of the gospel and bring people to god okay maybe it's not the gospel back then but to bring people to god's message of repentance and these people will uh, if they repent god forgives and Guess what? He goes over. The, he didn't want to go at first. The importance of the message was so was so crucial. God turns the situation around and actually lands Jonah in the situation, in the place where he had wanted him to be. Jesus comes in the New Testament to die so that the liberation of men from sin can be fully accepted. He says, suffer it not, but that, uh, that uh, all righteousness should be fulfilled. All righteousness, which one? The laws that men had to fulfill from God that we could not do so. And so the Bible is about freedom. But anyways, that's another point right there that you would have to look at is that the Bible is all about the freedom of man. But Satan is about the binding of man. Uh, if you look at in Revelation, what is the, the whole subject in Revelation is binding people by creating the mark of the beast in order for people to be marked after himself. Okay. Uh, when you think about the Cain and Abel story and you see the jealousy of another person uh, uh, jealous over this, the, the approval of God over the other person instead of doing the right thing, he would rather be correct, he would rather be right in the wrong thing, which is just a weird thing. So you see that type of a relationship over there. And so you have all these examples that I could give endlessly to show the liberation of the Bible. So for them to say what they are saying, Okay, you can have that. Now, also they do state that uh, they are burning it as a symbol. Uh, they are burning it as a symbol of disconnection 
between them and the Bible. And so by so doing, they are denying God. Remember the whole subject of um, Samuel, the prophet Samuel, when he goes into thingy and the people say they want a king. And Samuel goes back to God and he says, um, hey, they are rejecting me as your prophet. And he says, no, they have not rejected, they have rejected me. And so if the book, the Bible, gives us God's word, remember uh, uh, Timothy, the book of Timothy says, for all scripture is given by the inspiration of God, and so, and it's God breathed. So that tells you something about the Bible. You can say whatever you want about anything else, but the Bible is a very different subject. But anyways, that's another particular thing to think about. They say they are burning it as a symbol of liberation from so they're denying God. So therefore, to claim that their ancestors are in connection to God, or they speak to God for us, the whole interaction, therefore, it's pointless. If they are burning the Bible, it dismisses that whole thing because to whom are they talking to? And why do... So therefore, that's where umukulu umukul, I think that's what they call their God. That's where that figure comes in because they can deny God and still claim to have a God, which is a different God because therefore you have denied thing. And also, remember that to come to God, Jesus says, no man cometh to the Father except through me. And so, who are you going to? <laughs> <laughs> that's quite an interesting one and so you are not going to God you are speaking to whoever you are speaking to to lead you to wherever you are leading yourself to and so there you go with that one and so on top of this point number five they are burning the Bible on the cross so there's a cross there and it's intentional right it's intentional they know what they're doing uh, the Bible says they do not come to the truth because if they come to the truth, it will expose the wrongs that they are in. And so for some people, they deny the Bible like this so that it can be clear that they were never interested in the subject. And if a person is in that position, good luck to you. I thought this was quite an interesting one because it shows you everything we've been saying that Ubungoma does not go with, uh, with God and you can't be representing both. It just doesn't work. That whole interaction, stop that. That's, that's not working, okay? That's not going to work. And here, they've just shown it. So, it's Ricky. I thought this was quite an interesting one. Y'all tell me your thoughts and I'll see you on the next episode down in the pink comments.